What is twinning? How do you twin two furnaces together to make them work in unison? Twinning is whenever you have one duct system and one furnace cannot deliver the capacity required, you have to have two furnaces and you have to twin those furnaces together. And twinning is where you make both furnaces work in tandem. So both of the blowers are coming on in unison and both of the burners are lighting in sequence together. So we wanna make sure that we twin it properly. How do we do that? I'm gonna show you in today's video. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad and let's learn more about twinning. All right, so we've got one return coming into both of these furnaces. We've got two boards. We got the first board for furnace number one and we've got the second board for furnace number two. All of our thermostat wires come in from one thermostat because one thermostat controls both of these furnaces. And we've got our thermostat low voltage wiring coming in right here. And whenever we energize uh, the heating mode, whenever we turn our thermostat to heat, that means that we're going to have 24 volts here, R and W. And whenever we energize and this circuit closes, then we have, uh, we have voltage to the B and the W, so C and W. And what we want is we want to connect a wire from C and W to board number one and we want to run that to a relay. That blue and white wire goes to a coil of a relay. Right here is a common relay with a set of normally open contacts and normally closed contacts. We're only going to use the normally open because whenever we get 24 volts to this relay between the C and the W, we're going to have two more wires and we're going to close this circuit. And what this is, is this is a red and a white wire. And this goes to furnace board number two. And whenever we energize, whenever we close this circuit, we're going to energize R and W. So we're telling our furnace board number two that we're going to energize the heating operation. So we get a call from the thermostat between R and W. That closes the circuit, energizes C and W. So 24 volts here, and this is our wire that goes to the coil. This right here, this blue and white, goes to this coil. It energizes this relay. These normally open contacts close, and then we energize board number two. So that is how you twin these two furnaces. You use a simple relay with a normally open set of contacts you go C and W, energize coil, R and W, energize the next furnace. And then on this setup, we have got a wire from the furnace board number one going to our, we connect our commons. So we connect our C and our C, we connect our Y, and then we connect our G so that we energize our fans at the same time. Now, not all twinning setups are the same, and I'm gonna show you another set of furnaces that are wired a little bit differently, but I hope that you understand how this is wired. If you have a question, put it in the comments. If you have advice, definitely put that in the comments. And remember that there is a model and serial number, and you can look up a manual, and you can actually look at the wiring diagram. And let me see if I can read this for you. This model number for this unit is a S8X1, so you can just type that in, train S8X1 furnace. And both these will work in unison. Excellent. All right, let's go check out the other furnaces. Before we move forward, I just wanna show you with a meter checking the voltage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my meter, put it on volts AC, and then I'm gonna go from W to R, okay? So W to R, 29 volts. Now, I'm gonna put a jumper between W and R, like I'm turning my thermostat to heating. Now I've got a jumper between W and R, and you're gonna see that both furnaces are gonna to start to light together. Both inducer motors are coming on, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna check now from R to C. Okay, 
So from R to C, I'm sorry, R to W, sorry. Checking from R to W, we got zero volts now because we've closed that circuit. So now we're gonna go from C to W. C to W now, we got 28 volts. That means that over here, we got probably 28 volts. So C to W, okay? 27 volts. That means that we've energized this relay, okay? So we're gonna check the coil of the relay. We've energized the relay, and that means we've closed this set of normally open contacts. If I take this wire off, it's going to de-energize the heat call over here, see that? But if I put this back on, then it's going to re-energize. Hope you understand that. Let's move on to the other furnaces and see how that's wired. All right, so here's the next set of furnaces. Same setup, we got one thermostat, we got one duct system, we've got an outdoor unit, and we got two furnaces. So on this system, we've got one difference, and that is the twin terminal. And we've got a wire going from this twin terminal for furnace number one to this twin terminal, furnace number two. And what this does is it helps to communicate from one board to the other to make sure that the blower comes on in unison. So we don't actually have to put a uh, wire from the G terminal on this board to that board. We've only got three wires. We've got the W, we've got the R, and we've got the C on this one. And we've also got this relay here. And we're energizing the coil. And once we energize this coil, we close this set of normally open contacts. And that energizes this board here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this furnace on, make sure it works. Turn the gas shutoffs back on. All right, so both, both furnaces should be on. Oh, that inducer motor's running. That inducer motor's running. This one just lit. And this one just lit. Awesome. Just wanna show you this too. Make sure that when you check your thermostat that it's programmed for gas or that if it has a selector switch on the back for heat pump electric or gas or oil, that it switched to gas. This one was on electric and you don't want that. I don't want that. Here's the outdoor unit for that train split. This is the outdoor condensing unit. So you saw the two twinned gas furnaces and this is the outdoor unit for that system. And then this is the outdoor unit for those two twinned York systems. And it is a YC120. So 10 ton. And then this is a TTA120. So it's a 10 ton. Got two separate disconnects. It's three phase. So you've got three fuses inside each box. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments if you did learn something. What did you learn? And if you got a question, put that in the comments as well. Questions can become content. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me. Or I'll keep you warm if you let me.